Well, what's going on everybody? This video is going to be a little bit different than the land management kind of hunting videos that's normally on my channel. Uh, it's going to be dealing with the Starlink and I'm going to show you guys everything that I know on the Starlink from uh, unboxing it to setting it up. I'm going to take you guys through every step that I do and um, try to fill you guys in with as much information as possible on this. Now this is supposed to be the best option for rural internet period by far it's supposed to be just superior super fast on everything easy to hook up i will tell you guys i had to pre-order and you do like a hundred dollars down on a pre-order and it took almost uh three months or just a little over three months since my pre-order to get it and i know sometimes they have to be um, available kind of in your area or something like that but they kept me updated on emails and as it was being built and everything um, they let me know and they let me know when it shipped um, and so now it's here and I'm going to set it up now they do ask you to download an app you know have a clear view of sky and stuff in preparation before this gets there where I'm at, I'm on top of a hill down in the southwest corner of Missouri um, in the Ozark Hill Country, very rural, um, but I have a huge open sky everywhere where my house sits here. Now, I'm probably gonna, just going to be setting it up right here in the lawn just to start with because it's not going to be any different uh, the setup right here than it's going to be when I probably set it up on my roof. It's going to have the same view of the sky. So, um, But we're going to do that to test it and get it up and going and um, that's about it it is a pretty cloudy day today we've had rain showers off and on so we'll see if that affects the speed or anything there so here we go hope you guys are excited about it because i'm excited about it i'm excited to get this going and actually have fast internet out here in the middle of nowhere all right so this is my first look i have not opened this box yet i have cut all the tape and here we go now I've watched a lot of videos on people receiving these and they said the instructions are pretty clear and easy. And these are the instructions. You have three steps and that's it. I think that is that's literally all they give you. Wow, all right. So, so this is regulatory notices. not instructions or anything so all right so we pretty much have here we have the base this is a standard base that comes with it they have other options on their website they said for roof mounts which I'm probably going to end up getting but this is made for flat ground and in yards and then you pretty much have the dish and this is kind of like I guess they remote them transponder there so and you can tell it's already hooked up. That's pretty awesome. Unload this box right here underneath the porch because it is raining on and off right now. So there's my instructions. Pretty easy. Base. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect. So that's pretty cool, pretty futuristic, pretty simple. No on off or nothing, it's just got the plug in. They've already got everything hooked up, which is nice too. So everything's already hooked up to show you how it's supposed to hook up. So hopefully if you take it apart, you can build it back together kind of idea, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this gray cable, gray side, the light gray or the white cable to the white side. A lot of cable. That's nice. Not going to need even probably a third of that, but it is nice to have it. And here's the dish unit itself. It's actually pretty stout. It's probably close to 20 pounds or so, 15. Really cool. It's actually flat. Wasn't expecting that. Let's go ahead and hook it up in the base. It's just got these two little clips. Pop 
pops in just like that. Well, that's awesome. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, grab it, take it out to the middle yard so there's no obstruction whatsoever from trees or anything. As you can tell, it's a very wide open area. And then we're gonna hook it up right up just inside the house here just to give it a test, see what it does. All right, so we're out here in the middle of the yard, as you can tell. Just a very wide open sky. And I'm actually going to be putting the Starlink up there on top of my house. I might actually put it down in this corner. And these trees are all far away from the house. So it's going to have a really great view of the sky. As you can tell, I'm right up here on top of this big ridge hill and uh, got a clear line of sight. So there it is. It's hooked in. So I went ahead, I'm going to be plugging it in right over there, the modem right there, and uh, I'm going to actually take this camera, and I'm going to set it up on the Starlink satellite, that way we can see if it moves or anything, because some people say that it can take up to eight minutes and I've seen sometimes it's as little as they've plugged it in, they've gone back out to take a look at the satellite and it's already calibrated itself. So it can be eight minutes to 30 seconds. So I wanna put this on it and see if we can get it to move while I go plug it in. Then I'm gonna get it all updated on my app and see what speeds we got. Okay, here we go. Hit the speed test. We have a few new things, that's great. Uh, so it's already hooked up to the Starlink, as you can tell on there. It is ready to go now, and here we go for the first test ever. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've had everything out here. We've had HughesNet, um, I've done T-Mobile hotspots and everything, and uh, with COVID, the whole uh, HughesNet once, it was actually decent out here. I was probably getting 40 megabytes per second or whatever uh, on the download. But once COVID hit, it prioritized everybody, it said, um, and it pretty much wasn't even working ever. So I got rid of that and I've just been doing uh, just my T-Mobile hotspot, which still isn't great here because we don't have um, one of the internet towers, I guess, for T-Mobile here. We've got a tower close, but they said it's not for the internet. It's So it's for different data or something. So here we go, first test. Three, two, one, go. Connecting, okay. Let's see. Holy cow. Still higher than anything I've ever seen yet. I think it's still even gonna get better. We're at 168. We're everywhere on there right now. So download 162. This is the first setup. This is in my front yard. Like I said, I think it's even going to get better up on top of the roof. And for your upload, let's see where it comes in at here. Upload at 17.6, and the download is at 162. It even pinged a little higher in there, but that is pretty crazy. I've never had speeds like that ever out here and for it to be so easy to set up that's absolutely insane. So there you guys go. Super easy. I would recommend this. Uh, I'm out as about as in the middle of nowhere as you get down here in southwest Missouri in the Ozark Hill country. Um, very rural and this works and this is going to be I think it's right around $100 a month. Uh, the worst thing about the whole thing is you've got to wait to get it in. For $100 a month where I can actually upload and download here and everything I've seen out there as far as uh, streaming and doing uh, live videos or if you're a gamer or anything, it works great for that. I've seen people get up to um, 
300 megabytes per second and right here in the front yard I'm at 162 megabytes per second already which is pretty dang cool so uh, I am super happy with that right there so check it out this is going to allow me to do a lot of work here and it's really going to keep my time on the road down substantially so pretty excited about this I'm going to keep playing with it I'll update you guys if you want more updates once I get it installed on the roof and then maybe a couple weeks down the road do another update with any problems or if it's gotten even faster everybody that I've seen this done nothing but get faster as they do more updates and they probably put more satellites up and everything up there uh, we're in the middle of the day right now on a Sunday and it's raining here so anybody that has this is probably on it um, so we might even see faster speeds as everybody goes to bed and all that kind of stuff but right here middle of the day it's cloudy it's raining it's actually drizzling now um, I'm pretty impressed with that so it might even be higher numbers than this on the clear sky right here even in the front yard so check it out guys hope you enjoyed this video um, if you have a Starlink or if you had problems with it or if you've had success with it or anything leave a comment down below give a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe because we have a lot of other videos on our channel and until next time have a better than average day Won't you take